Women of CTV with Adam Hinchwood uh, from a 6 0 win over Dulwich Hamlet here at Woodside Road in the National League South. Adam, how are you feeling after that one? Well, I, uh, just really, really chuffed for the players, to be honest. Um, the last few weeks have been a real sort of tough watch. Um, I know they're a good group, got so much belief in their ability, um, and to see a few of them play without confidence and stuff like that, you know, I've got to take a bit of responsibility of that as manager, and it's been painful to watch, to be honest, and um, just so chuffed that um, they give a proper account of what they're about, how hard they work, and um, you know, just the quality they do possess. Um, I thought there were some unreal performances today. I think the scoreline, there can be no doubts that that was a, a true reflection of the game. Um, you know, so just really delighted for the players and you know, can't speak highly enough of them really. How do you even pick out an individual performance from that game? Because as you say, there were so many today. Reese Meekins getting a few goals, Ollie Pearce getting his 100th goal for the club. So many individual performances. What stood out for you today? No, yeah, I thought um, all of that was was built off of a real sort of solid base. Um, we didn't go pressing needlessly today. We got into a good shape and pressed from a good shape, I thought, today. Um, and that's something, you know, again, like wasn't happy with it on Saturday. We was here, there and everywhere, all over the place and left ourselves really exposed and, um, you know, just said to the players beforehand, give them a bit of an idea of what I wanted and they've gone and implemented brilliantly. But, you know, th there were some really, really top performances. Ollie's, um, the ball from Joel and Ollie's finish for his 100th hum goal, um, you know, was, was, was brilliant and one that, you know, was a um, testament to how well he's done for us since he's come to the club, to be honest. So, yeah, obviously delighted for him. And like I say, Miki, uh, he's been um, a bit stop-start, not having as much minutes as probably he wanted to, but he's kept working hard and I thought he was excellent when he came on Saturday. He was a real live wire and off the back of that, deservedly starts today and I think this is his first couple of goals. Um, he's got a lot of assists for us, but finished his first couple of league goals. Um, so, you know, really, really pleased for him. I thought the two centre-halves, uh, JB and, and Dan Bowery, didn't start Saturday and come in today and we've kept a clean sheet. Um, so, like I say, there was there were so many good performances. Um, you know, it'd be tough to, to not mention everybody, really. And um, anyone that I've not mentioned there, then apologies. But there was, there was even the subs that come on, I thought, give a really good account of themselves so yeah like I say you don't get too many of these and um, you know I thought we, we've done a lot of learning over the last two weeks um, I thought the hoodoo of the manager in a month was going to haunt me for the whole of this month um, so I'm pleased to get that off my back as well um, you know I prefer not to have it if we had to go wrong <laughs> like that to be honest uh, they could keep it so um, yeah and just just for the fans that travelled up um, sat down. I know I'm going on now, but it, it did hurt me how we played um, to see so many of them here before I even left, picking, getting the minibus at like quarter past ten, travel all that way in the numbers, and for us to be as disappointed as we were, you know, it, it did hurt. It did hurt, and um, you know, I'm just pleased that 800 turned up today on a Tuesday night Champions League football. Um, you know, with another home game on Saturday, just hope that. Um, you know, we can really get behind the team again on Saturday and, uh, you know, please, pleased for all them people that travelled that we managed to put on a good display tonight. That's the big thing after a run of games where it's been against teams that have been around us. It must have been quite a difficult thing to go through that sort of patch, but to have a, a win like today for yourself and the squad, it must be such a, a big lift for going forward. Yeah, definitely. And like, there are no mugs at all. I thought it was one of the toughest teams we played against at their place. Um, you know, we was very lucky to come away with a one 0 win. Um, so to win and play as well as we did today, um, you know, that's that's the identity that we want to have and, and play to. Um, I thought some of our passing moves were excellent today. I think if Miki scores his goal, it's one of the best goals. Um, you know, we would have seen. Unfortunately, it wasn't quite to be for his hat trick. But um, you know. He, it was, it was really good and, and a good blueprint of, of what we want it to look like. You just mentioned it already, of course, but Oli Pierce has 100 goals for Worthing tonight in, in all competitions. It's a hell of an achievement for someone who's been such a consistent player for Worthing across these last five years. Just a few words on Oli, really, like how much of a big player has he been for, for the club in, in these last few years? Oh, yeah, he's just really sort of um, 
typifies you know what we want from a player. Um, you know, a lot possibly was labelled to him that he didn't work hard enough, maybe, but he definitely works hard for us. Uh, works hard for the club and and for us and and for the team. Um, he's become a real leader since he's been here. I think he's grown. As, as a person as well since being here and you know he's a real real intelligent footballer um, you know and really suits how we like to play um, and I think you know our, our sort of change of shape has really sort of suited him and now he's probably on what's he on about 14 league goals now at this level after scoring 30 odd last year so a real asset as well and um, you know some of his goals in those 100 have been have been excellent to see and you know it's um, it's been a privilege a lot of the time to watch him play. Um, not always, but uh, more often than not, he's uh, he's come up with the goods. So yeah, I'm delighted for him, and you know, just I know he'll keep his feet on the ground and keep working hard to end the season. I'm sure he's got a target um, that he'll want to try and reach, um, and you know that's what uh, be his be his challenge now to end the season. But yeah, um, delighted for him, and you know um, when you've got someone behind you like Joel putting on those kind of balls that he puts on again, lots of assists for him today. Um, so, you know, really, really, really pleased for Ollie and um, yeah, long may it continue. Awesome. Thank you, Adam. Cheers.